good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. So I'm just about to clean my tattoo, which I have to do. Um, don't really put it here. Um, I have to put it here. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is wash a tattoo with warm water, soapy water. So I use this because it's got no like artificial perfume or colour or harsh chemicals, so it should do. So if I just drop a bit on there, like so. Get some warm soapy water. I'm really gentle because I don't want to take any of the scabs off. So what you have to do with this is you have to dab. Just dab the tattoo. And you can see like little bits of the scabbing comes off, but I hope that's okay. Just make sure it's dry. I don't want it to be... wet in case anything else oh and now the lights come back on if you didn't know our lights here above me um, are not working <laughs> they seem to go on and off and when i came in here to wash my hands after i've been out <laughs> they were on and just i was about to get my tattoo stuff it faded and i was like really really you're gonna do that so I've got the big light on and this. Okay, after I've done that, what I want to do is get nappy lash cream. Would you believe? This is what I've always been told is good for tattoos, so don't know why. Don't ask me. I've always meant to ask a tattooed artist this, but I never have. I don't want to put too much cream on, I just want to put as much as I need to put on. Yeah, that's it. Not too much, just dab it on. That's it. And then put it all away and that's, that's the tattoo done. Hello guys, so I have just finished watching Jen's vlogmas that I had to catch up on, which was day five, six and seven. Seven being the one that I had a bit of nostalgia with because if you guys don't know me and Jen went to the same primary school and the same secondary school and I think Jen was two years below me um at school um but anyway um it was so nostalgic to just see all the stuff and everything like that in fact my mum is actually making the nostalgic even worse because she is going out on a night out with her colleagues on Saturday night the strange thing is though, they haven't been her colleagues and I swear to God, 10 plus years? <laughs> so my mum used to work at the same primary school Jen went to. Um, the reason I'm saying this and I'm mentioning Jen is because I want to know if Jen actually remembers my mum. So the, there's this thing where everyone that went to our primary school and was there when my mum was a dinner lady knows who she is you just see the small blonde woman that always used to give you a free cake or a free cookie and her name was linda and she had this happy demeanor that's why she always gets remembered everybody knows who she is so i'm just wondering if anybody remembers who she is so if you ever went to the same primary school that i went to and you remember my mum and you're not one of my pals then not like not that you know what i mean like if you just don't see me regularly and know who my mum is but yeah so she's going out with like Lillian and Helen and all that on Saturday night they invited her out so she's not going on a work night she is going on a work it's basically a work night out because they're all going on their work night out so it's all their work night out my mum's just coming along so that's amazing though she's getting to ha she's getting invited to go along to her old work like I think that's mental I think that's really cool um she left 
a really big lasting impression i'll not say that i'm not saying that just because she's my mum but i know her too well and i know she leaves a really big impression so yes and also today i have an exciting delivery of a coat coming it's a strong new look and hopefully it looks and fits like that hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> if it comes today because it is my christmas present from my mum well one of my christmas presents from my mum but i need to try it on essentially it's for london because i want a nice coat for london um and yeah so i'm gonna go and do that and i'm gonna go and clean and iron and all that but i don't think i can wear sweaters until this is kind of healed because i feel like i don't want to mess this up so i think it's gonna be t-shirts <laughs> for like the next like two weeks no i like my sweaters <laughs> right i'll see you guys in a bit so this is the coat i don't know how i feel about it Hmm, it looks nice. I look like a fluffy bird. Hmm, I like it. It's cool. I had the best delivery today. So I got this, it was off of Etsy. It's a little notebook that says basic hexes for the busy and vexed. I'm just gonna write everybody's names. <laughs> Sorry, dropped it. I'm just gonna write everybody's names in here that I could be doing with some hexes. Towards. There we go. And then I got some pins from Hand Over Your Fairy Cakes. So this one's the first one. And it says, where is it? If I can focus, can I go home yet? Which is totally accurate. Um, I love it. It's like glittery and rose gold. But then this is the one that's most exciting. Order. I have been looking for something like this for forever and I just love it. If you guys didn't know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan but not just that, I always wanted to be an order. Oh, I'm so happy because you could get an order of the Phoenix one but finally they've come out with an order one. Oh, I can just be my best, live my best life now. Yay! Okay I've literally filmed nothing in half today just because stuff has come up. I've been busy and tired and everything and we're keeping the coat by the way I meant to say the coat's getting kept anyway um i'm gonna end the vlog here just because i have nothing else to say today at all nothing exciting at least hopefully tomorrow will be more exciting <laughs> Doubt it. but um yeah so see you guys tomorrow with vlogmas day 12 see you then 12 Today is day 12. Vlogmas day 13. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day 13. See you then. Bye.